let's talk about the transcension hypothesis, which is really a kind of intellectual aerobics exercise. It's a fascinating account coined by John Smart, the futurist, to account for Fermi's paradox. Now, Fermi's paradox is basically, look, the universe is infinitely grand. It's unfathomable in scope. There's conditions for life everywhere to have emerged. We're discovering more exoplanets all the time. Yet, where is all the evidence? How come we can't find any evidence of intelligent civilizations evolving anywhere else? That is a paradox. So much bigness and no evidence of life. So, John Smart says, it's actually not that complicated because consider what happens. Technologically advanced civilizations only in their adolescence expand outwards. It's primitive. Oh, we're going and we're gonna hunt and conquer lands. We're gonna reach that moon and that planet. And he says, yeah, that's only in our technological adolescence. As civilizations become more intelligent, they start realizing that the real exploration is going in, not going out. We're creating denser and denser computational substrates. We're spending more of our mind time, more of our thinking time in virtual spaces anyway. And eventually we're gonna create sentience, non-biological minds that are living inside of femtoscale densities of computing. Eventually, we will actually get to black hole-like conditions where these sentient minds, which will be us, can disappear out of the visible universe, be slingshotted into the end of time, and then give a high five to every other technologically advanced civilization over there. So that is transcension. You know why we can't see evidence? Because they've literally disappeared as virtual minds into these femtoscale scale like black hole dimensions and escaped this visible universe. So how's that for a dinner party chat?